Hey, this is Anomaly682. Uh, very, very quickly, I'm gonna uh, go into I'm gonna go into exactly what a MAME arcade machine is. Uh, first of all, what is MAME? MAME stands for um, Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator. So, what we basically have is is an authentic authentic arcade uh, cabinet that consists of a 25 inch uh, CRT CVGA monitor. Uh, Arcade, authentic controls, everything, coin mechanisms, marquee, etc. Everything is just from an actual arcade cabinet. The only difference is now is that the machine is running off of a PC rather than a arcade PCB or motherboard. Uh, an arcade PCB is a game board. So if you have a Mortal Kombat 2 machine like the one we have here, then it has a Mortal Kombat 2 arcade PCB board. Um, this machine right here is a PC based uh, machine that runs digital versions of the arcade PCB. So basically someone took an actual arcade board, took a, a data extraction device and simply extracted the data off the arcade PCB digitally and now I have that file uh, on a PC and What's running that file or that ROM image is the emulator, which is called MAME. And then from there, you have a PC integrated, which I'll talk about in, in uh, future videos. You have because there's a whole process to it, and it's kind of technical, but at the same time, simple once you understand how it works. Um, then you have a PC that's integrated with the actual arcade cabinet, and basically, what that creates, and basically, essentially, what the point of that is, is to have a 100% arcade authentic experience, as if you had the actual arcade PCB. So as you can see right now, I have Mortal Kombat 2 running in the background. Again, this is on my main arcade machine, which I built, and this is my first main arcade machine, by the way. Um, so. I also have a dedicated Mortal Kombat 2 machine downstairs in my man cave um, that's running off of um, actual JAMA, um, this JAMA based system, our actual arcade PCB. And I've compared this to my actual arcade and they are, they are identical. I mean, two different monitors. This is a K7000 monitor. The one that I have downstairs in that machine, I believe, is a K7400, which is a newer version of that monitor. So. Colors are a little different and stuff of that nature, but for the most part, the images are identical. <clears throat> That's the whole point of this setup. You know, you may be saying, like, what is the point of having a main machine? Why can't I just connect or just use a PC that's connected to my uh, my laptop or my computer that I have on my 46-inch plasma TV or whatever? Well, there's, there's a huge, there's a lot of differences and a lot of reasons. One, there's nothing quite like reliving the actual arcade experience. It's nothing like actually physically walking up to an arcade with the sound right in front of your face, 25 inch monitor right in your face, with the arcade controls and playing an arcade game. I mean, I grew up in the uh, in the 80s and, the, and I'm really a 90s child, so, you know, that's an experience that I'll never forget. And to be able to recreate that experience at my home that I desired and I was so, um, you know, um, infatuated with as a child is just, the ultimate experience for me so so one is the experience two is again when you have uh, these um, emulators on a you know computer that's connected to either a laptop or a TV you're not playing the games the way they were essentially meant to be played the games were meant to be played on an arcade monitor period they were designed for that and they were meant to be played on that and nothing beats the image of these games on an arcade monitor. Nothing comes even close, not an not a LCD, not a plasma, not an OLED, not an LED, nothing. So if you're an enthusiast and, you're, and you want an, a, an actual 100% arcade authentic experience, a main machine is the only way to go with a 25 inch arcade CRT. I see a lot of other machines out there that have LCD monitors, um, and you know, some of them are nice, but you know, you can't have an authentic setup with an LCD monitor. I'm not a huge fan of those. Um, 
I would never build one of those, maybe not for myself, at least maybe for a client. Um, you never see me rock something like that. It's only going to be with an actual arcade uh, monitor. So again, to give a summary, again, what a, what a main arcade machine is, is essentially it's an actual arcade cabinet or a custom arcade cabinet that is integrated with a PC as opposed to JAMA based uh, hardware that, um, that plays emulated arcade games. Uh, the last thing I'll say is, is that the reason why this is important is because, you know, arcade game boards are becoming very rare and near extinct and expensive for the ones that you can find that are in good condition. Like, for example, uh, Mortal Kombat 2 PCB, which I've purchased. I have a spare one. I paid $230 for that. And, you know, you got games like Killer Instinct and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and The Simpsons, X-Men. Those PCBs can go anywhere from three to five hundred bucks. And at the end of the day, they're electronics. You know, the ROMs degrade, the process, the game processes eventually stop working. Uh, you you know, you get corrosion. Eventually, the board will will eventually stop working. So the whole point of the main <coughs> project was really to preserve all these games, all these thousands and thousands, you know, who knows, 40, 50,000 arcade games that have come out between 1970 and 2005. It's really just to preserve them so, <coughs> so we can have them archived and we can relive the experiences and the memories. And that's exactly what this machine does for me. Now this machine does a lot more than just main stuff. It does pretty much everything pre-2000. So you're talking Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, you're talking, um, uh, Dreamcast, PS1, PS2, etc., etc., which I'll go into in another video. But basically, I just wanted to do an introductory video and discuss and talk about what um, a main arcade machine is. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, going into a lot more depth on what this machine is and how you can get on it too if you're interested in one. Because I, I will be building these for clients as well. And with that being said, um, <coughs> there's going to be a lot of changes. Uh, going on with my YouTube channel because at the end of the day I just have too much content and too many interests that I want to share with you guys and I don't want to create separate channels for each you know each content you know I have a, a vast interest in a variety of uh, uh, topics that I want to share with you guys anything from fitness to cars to <coughs> computers arcades uh, to more reviews, not just of uh, one six figures, which my audience is, my audience is accustomed to. Um, there's a lot of other things that I want to get into. You know, a little philosophical stuff, some politics here and there. Um, you know, you know, video logs, stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna change the name to the channel, and uh, we're gonna see how that works out for a little bit. So stay tuned for that. But for now, uh, this is part one of my um, arcade series uh, videos I'm going to be shooting. And um, I'll get back to you guys for part two. Stay tuned. Peace.